Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and I did a big boo-boo for this video. So apparently, I managed to record the whole episode, but unfortunately... Or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Unfortunately, I did not realize I had my audio on mute. David earned this all by himself. So right now so you're hearing my voice over of the video. So this is basically me doing a second reaction to the same content I recorded. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. So I don't mind doing that because I like to definitely satisfy my viewers. So let's get this episode started. Now, I might be Listen, off. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. Yeah, that part really got to me about them being more than friends. friends. That sucked. Me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Now, being that I'm recording right now, I actually cannot hear whatever dialogue is happening or even the sound effects or anything. So I'm just simply going based off of the subtitles at this point. This is a very interesting uh, way of recording. I hate it, obviously, but I'm definitely going to make sure that at least I'm going to entertain you guys as much as possible and look at chloe here just struggling hear, hear out her plan she's just struggling entirely chloe i got this i'll be right back don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours yeah chloe leave it to max to do the planning you'll you're just like the brute force at this point now to find a quick and easy way to snag frank's keys so for this quest here Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Cujo, yes. I've read the book before. Frankly, I did not enjoy that literature. I mean, don't get me wrong, Stephen King is Look definitely a good storyteller. Right. It's just that with Cujo it's specifically, so I feel like he that. overindulged with the details. Um, Maxine, pop up here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl. As am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max OXO. So yes, I'm definitely going to still read some stuff if there is reading material. But other than that... Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Awkward for him to say that tornado bit because it's going to happen. I bet it will. Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Because Prescott always has titty attacks, bro. Yeah, we know this. One. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. They're around, kid. If you hear some noises in the background, my apologies for that. I mean, this is the best I can do for this episode today because Good I... Lord. I don't know. I can't. I'm ready to I thought it. about re-recording, but at the oh, same time, I'm like, nah. If I can just at least manage to salvage some type of audio, then I'll do it. Okay, let me see here. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off of them. And yeah, there you go. All right, so for this mission here, never know how weird though, I had like so much course. trouble with figuring out how to even get Frank to pull out his keys, let alone just him taking out the keys in general. Kate Marsh, love you long time. 
Kate should have jumped. You should have jumped, asked White. That's right, Max. You tell him. The seventh sign. What does it say? The sea and sky will turn black, and living things Shit. die because of Other it. Other signs, then. That is some weird ass cryptid shit here. Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. I just love how this bathroom has all of these crazy little details and graffitis. It definitely does help. Arcadia Gay sucks deck. That's stupid. But I just love how it has little details like that. Helps to make the game even more immersive. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. She always has What's some tasty? quirky My stuff to respond to. It's so funny. You know what? I wish I was at that diner. You know how good those desserts are? Wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. That's so cool. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just love how this game has these interesting little details Can't to let you know that this town Can't. has a life. It's beautiful. And, uh, ew, look at Nathan Prescott. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Burn, baby, burn. Look at, look at Max talking shit. That is so funny to me. Okay, so at this point, I'm just trying to figure out what to do, how to approach Frank. Either should I speak to him directly or do some something crazy to distract him. So at this point, I decided to try and distract him. Maybe he'll be able to somehow get his keys out while this whole thing is happening. Apparently, this is a failed attempt right here. So with the first rewind, I figured, okay, so the beer didn't work why not this plate of beans which by the way who the hell who the hell eats a plate of beans for lunch like in all seriousness no he is eating a fat ass plate of beans this second attempt didn't work either, so at this point I'm wondering, okay, so distractions are definitely a no-go. Maybe I can talk to him directly, see if that would be a good, interesting route. Why are you looking at me like that? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> you see, when he said that comment about how Rachel looks beautiful, that gave me a red flag right and there. And that definitely, definitely got me even more suspicious. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Aw, that's nice of him to say that. Okay, so what am I gonna pick? Steve okay. Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I mean, at this point, I'm just trying out every and any option to definitely get this cop to give me any details that I can use towards Frank. That's true. So he was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Okay, so the okay, cop. I mean, do you after, just just so you know, town? you I do have a chance to talk to this police that. officer. Makes I believe sense. two times max before he just brushes you off afterwards. So make sure if you do this, you this quest. 
make sure you use your Wii One constantly because that's exactly what I had to do for this whole episode. I had to definitely rewind constantly between not only Frank, but also Nathan and this specific officer. If I could get one instant replay in life, I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, so what is my next move here? I mean, honestly, I'm. Rachel. Oh God, it's him. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh look, Max Amber, nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're Lucky welcome, asshole. Look at him, threatening. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage. That's right, Max. You tell him. Oh, yeah. Remind him. You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Okay, so... Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I... Damn, he's laying me out. So is it a deal or not? He said, it, you, look, down, you look like enough. a type of person who deal. doesn't even do baby You're aspirin. Like, supplies. shut up, bro. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try Higher education? That's the key word to get drugs from Frank. That is so funny. Okay, so I used Nathan's now? advice. And let's see what happened. See By if this way, would help me get the keys. I was wondering if you had any um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Okay, so that definitely was a dud right there. So... Since that higher education bit didn't work, I decided to go back to Nathan again and see, or not. <laughs> but, well, well later, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have two times to talk to the cops. So I go that. back to Nathan to and see what else I can dig up. Like I said, throughout this episode, I had to rewind constantly. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig How is that an insult when Frank. he called me a virgin? Don't like, bro, you're that, stupid dumbass. for that. Nathan Prescott is the type of kid where if he doesn't we'll get later, his Max. way, he would have like a titty attack. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Damn, that doesn't work. So, at this point, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, the higher education didn't work. <laughs> Me asking him to forgive Chloe's debt didn't work. Like, what am I going to do? So at this point, I figured, you know what? Maybe I should rewind up to the point where I'm able to actually talk to the cop again. And see if I'm able to get a little bit more info from Nathan as well. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Yeah, I can tell. You definitely know, got that from him. Except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Okay, whatever. Like, look at him crying in the corner. 
Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. Or you what? What are you gonna do? Me, understand? Do you really? Oh, That's cute. That is so cute how he's right. puffing up his chest at me. Now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Okay, whatever. Really? Dead ass, he called me that. Oh my god. Honestly, if that were me, he would have already got his face cracked as it is. Because... I don't know. It's like, even though the word dyke itself has the definition changed over the years, I still find it offensive when a person that's not part of the LGBT says it. Alright, so I tried to rewind again, and for some reason, the game wasn't letting me give any options to interact with either the surroundings or even the people. So it took me a little bit, but I did manage to figure out that maybe I should keep on rewinding, see if I'm able to talk to the cop again. Because at this point, interacting with Frank is not getting me anywhere. And interacting with Nathan, I mean, it got me somewhere, but she not the way Super I Maxine. wanted to go. That's your new nickname, around the Bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Okay, so being that I've interacted enough, I should, yep, I should be getting a lot more options and new choices for me to use on the police officer. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Damn. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. To his credit, you see, that you know, is so horrible. Just the act of dog fighting himself. itself. Why would anyone think crazy. that's a good sport? Stay away. Let alone starting to bet on that. That's just disgusting to me, honestly. I would never let a creature like that be in that type of blood sport. All right, Frankie boy, look up. That's right. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not at. That's right. Kill him with kindness, Max. That's how you. That's how you get some story. stuff. You're an Hopefully. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you. Damn. The dog shit. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Besides, you don't want him. Oh my goodness. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Whatever, man. Like, he thinks... He thinks he has the advantage, but... One way or the other, I'm still gonna figure this shit out. Even if it's gonna take me all day, I'm still gonna figure this out. So, at that point... I... I wanted to do this again just to piss him off because that last comment he made really ticked me off. I mean, it is worth it, but honestly, after rewinding, I said to myself, okay, I gotta figure this shit out because I am not trying to be stuck here all day. So I figured. I have the keys. If I have nothing else to do in terms of talking to the officer or even Prescott boy, 
let me do the very the obvious yet dangerous key. choice of taking the keys. I mean, it's my last option. What else is there for me to do? Now, you know, I easily get distracted because that's how I am. So, of course, I had to, you know, check out the TV and the little news and everything. Um, great background noise, by the way. Like I said, I just love how Life is Strange has little interesting details that help get me to be more immersed in the game. Appreciate that. Um, what am I doing? I have the keys. Come on. Well, then again, I do have my little slow moments, so Dickhead. bear with me here. I mean, after looking back on the recording, seriously, at this point, what else can you do besides bear with me as I slowly figure out the puzzle from here? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. There you go. You and then he just sits there dumbfounded for a hot second. That's the funny part. Give me my keys now! Okay, honestly, thankfully, I am so happy Max has the ability to unwind. And look at that, she has the keys. Not bad, right? Now, finally, finally, we can go inside the RV. So before going to the RV, I noticed that Alyssa, one of the background characters, gets soaking wet. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna I'm be nice. I'm gonna be nice for this girl right here because, you know, she hasn't done anything wrong at all during the series. So might as well just do a little good deed of the day, you know? Quick thinking, Max. Quick thinking, Max. Okay, let me stop making fun of her. Okay. Um... Let me see what Chloe has been up to this whole time. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. I'm over here thinking that this is some crazy oh, big old dog with sense. like three heads, but as soon as the door well. opens. That's the dog! Aww, Bendy dog. What a cute little dog, like. And look! That dog is just sitting there with the bone. Come on. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yeah, he might come back, but he won't. Because that dog is so infatuated with the bone. Okay, so now we're finally in. A shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Yeah, he's mad suspicious for that, honestly. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Oh? Wait, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. You hear her? You want me to kiss you again? I know Max has a crush on Chloe at this point. It's obvious. Okay, so in terms of finding any clues, picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. At first, I look at the obvious places. Haven't found anything yet. Just hearing Max observe, putting her own little opinions about any Frank and every random thing a police radar nearby because he's a drug dealer of course he has a police scanner come I on frank is trying out for the arcadia bay brewers look at him yeah, what a pig no big eye dishes good to know frank has a knife lying around pizza i love pizza bro how can somebody live like this i mean it's frank what do you expect Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers Dakota ring. I don't even know what those telemarks represent, and I don't even want to know. Or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. 
Yeah, usually you use that to cook something up at that point. Is Frank going to deal online now? Hmm. <laughs> Drug dealing online, that's funny as hell. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Aw, oh, what a cute doggy. Yuck. Wow, Chloe, she would be the one to say that. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay, so he has two different vents that we can go through. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Something to pry open, but like what though? Ooh, Frank's stash. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> recycle, dude. But and she will be the one to say recycle. Like, Bad really? Frank he really recycle weed baggies. <sighs> Stop it. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Look at Chloe being all nosy with the computer. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Okay, so if nothing else, the... My best take Actually, would be the knife. It is good to know that Frank has a knife. Exactly. This take the knife. Just good as a set of keys. Okay, so now we can definitely pry open that My vent right will there. Open any portal. A book. Question is of what? Probably drug deals or something. Oh man. Rachel and Oh, Frank's it's Rachel. Wow, Rachel with the dog. Touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pumperduel. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're the one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, heart R.A. That is so awkward. So Frank and Rachel were a thing. Question is, was it before or during the time she was with Chloe? Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you. Us. So maybe we need to break our routine. X-O-R-A. That is so awkward. Oh, my God. Chloe's going to trip balls once she realizes this information. Like, I don't know. I feel so bad. But at the same time, it is confirmed that Rachel and Frank were a thing. And it makes sense as to why Frank had Rachel's bracelet. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my Ooh. face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets Chloe. killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Come on, bro. Chloe. Damn it, man. I mean, I know Chloe's pissed, but... And look at Frank still eating his plate of beans. How was that lunch? I don't understand. Do you know how much of a fart storm you're going to end up having with that thick ass... Fat ass plate of beans. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.